you know when it comes to working with data, traditional spreadsheets like Excel and Google Sheets have been the go-to tools for years. But let's be honest, they are starting to show their age. If you've ever felt like your spreadsheet just wasn't powerful enough for the job, you're not alone. And that's where Quadratic AI comes in. My name is Daniel, and in this video, we are going to explore what Quadratic is, who it's for, its standout features, and why it just might be the most powerful data tool you never knew you needed. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Stick around, this one's going to be good. What is Quadratic? So, what exactly is Quadratic? Well, it's a spreadsheet, but not the kind you're used to. It takes everything you know and love about traditional spreadsheets and cranks it up to 11. Quadratic lets you handle huge datasets. We're talking hundreds of thousands of rows, without breaking a sweat. And the best part about it is that it's all happening right in your browser. No downloads, no setup, just instant access. But here's where it gets really cool. Quadratic isn't just about formulas. You can seamlessly use Python, SQL and JavaScript right into your spreadsheets. Need to write a quick Python script to analyze some data? You can do that. Want to pull data directly from an API or database? Quadratic's got you covered. And if you're not a coding expert, no worries. The built-in AI can help write the code for you. It's fast, it's flexible, and it's incredibly powerful. Who is Quadratic for? One of the bad things about Quadratic is how versatile it is. If you're a data analyst, this tool is a dream. You can write SQL queries, analyze data with Python, and visualize everything in a familiar spreadsheet interface. But it's not just for analysts. Finance teams can use Quadratic for budgeting and advanced projections without needing complex software. Marketing and sales teams can whip up quick reports and build impressive charts for presentations. Product managers get instant analytics without waiting on data teams. And developers? They get a flexible environment for scripting, automation, and advanced data workflows. Even C-suite executives can use it to track key metrics and make data-driven decisions. Basically, if you work with data in any capacity, Quadratic has something for you. Main features. All right, let's talk features, guys. First up, the built-in AI. This isn't just any AI. It's designed to help you write code. Whether it's Python, SQL, JavaScript, or plain old formulas, the AI can generate clean, efficient code for complex analysis. And it's not a black box. You can see, tweak, and learn from the code it writes. Next, there's the code integration itself. Quadratic makes it incredibly easy to mix traditional spreadsheet formulas with real programming languages. You can write a Python script in one cell and reference it in another, just like a formula. It's seamless and incredibly powerful. And we can't forget the direct data connections. You can pull data from APIs, databases, and third-party sources without jumping through hoops. Everything stays live and up-to-date, and you can manipulate huge datasets without lag. It's like having the power of a full data analysis environment right inside your spreadsheet. Now, let me give you an example of how it all works. Let's upload the file and start working with it in Quadratic. We can upload the local file in CSV, Excel, or Parquet format, work with an API, or use sample files from the Quadratic team. We can also connect to external sources like databases. For example, here I've connected my blog. Let's upload a CSV file and see what we can do with it. I've got a CSV file here with data on 10,000 people, including user ID, last name, first name, gender, email, phone number, date of birth, and job title. We can work with this table and even use AI to analyze it. We can explore and edit this table. For example, we can move the cursor to a different spot and generate content in that area. Right now we're working with Sheet1, which is currently open. And if we want to use chat functionality, we can actually work with Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Claude 3.7 Thinking, which are easily better than previous models. These are the newest models that just came out, and they are already connected to Quadratic. We can also use the regular Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-40, or O3 Mini. Let's try using Claude 3.7 Sonnet with its thinking feature, and ask it to create a pie chart in cell L1, showing the male-female ratio, basically how balanced the genders are. 
Now we see Claude thinking. After a moment it responds and says it will create a pie chart and display it in our dataset. Here we see the gender distribution. 50.7% female and 49.3% male. We can also ask it to do some deeper thinking. For example, I want to find out the most common job titles for people in their 30s, 40s and 50s. Let's say I want to see that in cell M28 on the same sheet. Let's stick with the same model, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and watch how it processes the task. The question is asked in a very human-like way. It's a clear, natural question that Claude needs to analyze. First, it figures out which cells it needs to check. It says it will look at the date of birth and job title columns. Then it realizes it needs to write some code in cell M28 and it starts generating that code. The thought process here isn't super exciting, but even while writing the code, it sometimes pauses to think things through, like figuring out how to separate different data points. It's a pretty interactive and interesting process to watch. Let's wait for it to finish the code and see what results we get. Once it's done analyzing, it confirms that the code looks good because it solved five different tasks along the way. It generates the Python code. But then, surprise, we hit a problem. So let's switch to the Sonnet 3.7 model without the thinking feature and let it take a stab at the code. This time the code works and we finally see which job titles are most common among people in their 30s, 40s and 50s. We can take a look inside the code that was generated and you'll see that it's pretty well structured. It includes clear comments and connected functions and everything's written in Python. Honestly, the way it put this together is pretty impressive. The last thing we asked it to figure out was how many people work in education and what their average age is. I have placed a histogram here to show that data. But first, the AI had to analyze different job titles. It needed to identify roles like teacher, professor and others related to education. It pulled job titles like education officer, community educator and other positions tied to the education field. The AI then generated Python code, calculated the average age and created a breakdown of the age distribution in education. What's cool is that before writing the code, the AI actually analyzed the job titles, picked out education-related keywords like teacher, professor, lecturer, school, university, tutor, and more. Only after that did it write the code and decide which jobs belonged to the education sector and which didn't. Finally, it filtered out people in education, calculated their ages, and built a histogram even working out the average and median ages of those in the field. What makes it stand out? So why choose Quadratic over other tools? For starters, it's fast. Built with modern tech like Rust, WebAssembly and WebGL, it's super responsive. Even with massive datasets, it's also incredibly flexible, letting you use multiple programming languages alongside traditional formulas. Security is a big deal too. Quadratic is SOC 2 and HIPAA compliant, so your data stays safe. Plus, it's an open access project, meaning the entire source code is available on GitHub. That transparency is a huge trust factor. And let's not forget the collaboration features. Since it's browser-based, sharing and working together in real time is a breeze. No more version control nightmares, just smooth, efficient teamwork. Final thoughts. So, there you have it. Quadratic AI is changing the game when it comes to data analysis. Whether you're a seasoned data pro or just someone who wants more power and flexibility from their spreadsheets, this tool has something for you. It's fast, it's smart, and it's packed with features that make working with data easier and more effective than ever. If you're curious, definitely give Quadratic a try. The personal use version is free, so there's no reason not to check it out. And hey, if you've got thoughts on Quadratic or questions about how it works, drop a comment below. I would love to hear what you think. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.